Hello, my name is Christian Huchbeck, my teammates are Evan Jolly and Kyle Myers. Our project was uh, Buckner Shine, which is a car wash. Uh, for our group contract, we uh, promised that we would communicate effectively and be able to branch off one another's ideas. So at first we came up with like a DMV like for the permit test and licensing, but then we ended up thinking like people are kind of getting those now. So we thought of a car wash from that. And then for here we were being open-minded of new ideas. Like at first we thought about opening some restaurants and other things like that. And then for me, I was the team leader in the teacher lives and I would make sure we were staying on task and moving forward with our project. And as well, I would uh, talk to Mr. Morgan if we needed any help on having any questions and other things. Christian, he was the rubric master, which would uh, follow uh, along with what we're doing, make sure we're, our presentation was staying on the same focus. And then for Kyle, uh, he was our task manager and group editor, which he made sure our presentation was all together and make last second edits if anything was needed and added on. All right, so our baking lot proposal was a car wash slash spa. And uh, we chose to put it in the Clayton and Lambert lot because uh, it's been abandoned for a little while now and they're probably still paying the maintenance fee and uh, taxes for it. And we chose to launch it in the summer because it's a convenient time to do it for holding a car wash. And um, you know, people aren't in school, so you have more working hours then. And uh, all of our material, materials are locally sourced by a Solution Tech Auto Wash Systems. So for our business plan, we're going to open up during the summer and close during the winter just because it's harder to maintain equipment and such during the winter. Uh, we value good customer service and value for your dollar. And we're completely located across OC so parents and students can always get their car washed. Uh, we're going to have one person on the lot all day making sure the employees do their jobs. And one employee is going to be in the lobby taking care of supplies and stuff like that. So what's gonna, what's gonna happen is you're gonna drive up to the car wash, uh, you're gonna get out, one employee's gonna drive you to the car wash while you get to go in the lobby and buy car products and stuff like that. And yeah. All right, so our prices for packages is 10 bucks for a regular pressure wash. Uh, we have a $15 package, which is pressure washing and uh, waxing. And you have the $25 package, which is a pressure wash, you have the uh, tire shining, and then you have your waxing. And then you have the big one, which is uh, 40 bucks. And you get a pressure wash, you get tire shining, you get an interior treatment, you get full vacuuming, and you get your waxing. But, we got the big one. $5, we have an OC special, where you get the same value of a $15 package for just five bucks. And uh, it works for anyone that attends the uh, Olin County High School that's right next to us. And uh, you can verify that by putting in your student number or if your staff member that works there, uh, you can just show your staff card. Uh, so for our work breakdown structure, we really need to get input on students' ideas if they would like a car wash because, like I said, everyone's getting their cars now and that would be beneficial for them to use a car wash. And then it allows for car washes like nearby us and you know, car washes are I mean, they're not, they're like 10 to 15 minutes away, but right across the school would be very beneficial for the students and as well as the staff and other parents. And then a, rare, a risk to this is malfunctions can occur through like the machinery because it just machinery can mess up at times. And for the cost, uh, you have to get really high tech equipment due to keeping up with the standards with other car washes because uh, they're more advanced and recycle time. What's the point of coming to ours when people are ahead of us? And then it would take a couple months of preparation to get this done because it's not the easiest thing to set up because you have to find the equipment and as well staff and get the funds. So overall the car wash is gonna benefit the community and it's gonna be convenient for parents and students to just come by and everybody will have a clean car. So, any questions? So, with the OC special, you said that um, 
the way you're going to do that is by like someone providing uh, their student number. How are you going to verify that like that student number is like an actual student number? Like how how is that going to uh, work? We can ask the uh, lunch ladies. They have all the student numbers. Okay. Um, so like, what's well, actually going to be like? You can go on Infinite Campus and have your student number there. Okay. And just pull that up. I mean, you pull up like your profile on Infinite Campus, and you can see your student number, what school you attend, and. Something. Well, no, you, you wouldn't give us your Infinite Campus. You pull it up on your phone, and we'd be able to show. that in consideration but like you know it's right across from the OC so you know if you're really thinking about it it's like that main school you know south is probably 10 to minutes away and north is probably like 20-ish you know it's not like the best convenient for them so I feel like they have car washes out around them I mean yeah they might I mean we took consideration it's kind of like I mean same thing we always could change it depending on like how it's going and you know like you said people probably drive for the better price. Also who pay for the uh the equipment for the car wash? Do you got paying for it or who's paying for it? Uh well we're pitching it to the Chamber of Commerce so if they like it we'll pay for it. If they don't they won't. And so the only thing like customers will be on and they only I mean they, they can come in like I said in the lobby. If you need something for your car, it'll be in the lobby and if you don't need anything you can just wait in there until your car is fully cool. Any other questions? All right, give him a hand.